My People is pleased to present 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, as it continues to lead the way in advocacy for the creation and dissemination of technology that enables financial inclusivity. The 40 Days 40 Fintechs is shining a spotlight on those that are breaking down digital barriers and bringing millions more on the continent into the transactional space and transforming their lives for the better. My name is Anthony Ndegwa. I am the Managing Director of NCBA Bank Uganda Limited. Uh, NCBA uh, Bank Uganda Limited is a bank operating in Uganda. Um, this bank was formed um, in 2020, June 2020, after the successful merger of two Ugandan banks, NC Bank Uganda Limited and Commercial Bank of Africa Uganda Limited. So these two banks came together to form NCBA Bank Uganda Limited. We recently celebrated our first anniversary uh, in this particular market, um, a successful uh, celebration. But let me just take you a little bit just to understand who we are and where we've come from. So the transaction, that means the merger between the two institutions, was first announced in December 2018. Now, at that time, the individual banks, NC and Commercial Bank of Africa, their group boards uh, with the head office in Kenya announced this particular transaction, the merger transaction. Um, the transaction, the merger transaction was actually approved in Kenya in uh, October 2019 by the Central Bank of Kenya. Now, this is important because it's, a, it's an important step because it was the first step of our merger in Uganda. Both uh, NC and Commercial Bank of Africa had their head offices in Kenya. So it was important that <clears throat> that transaction then is approved at Kenya to form NCBA Bank PLC. Now, NCBA Bank PLC is our parent company in Uganda. It's, the, it's fully owned, uh, the subsidiary in, in Uganda. Now, specifically in Uganda, Bank of Uganda approved the merger when they issued out a letter of no objection in May 2020. And subsequently to that, they issued out a banking license, a commercial banking license. And that allowed us to start operating as NCBA Bank Uganda Limited. So that's really the birth of this organization. But let's also understand why. Now, as a combined entity, as a combined entity, NCBA Bank Uganda Limited has a significant capital base. It has a significant total asset and a strong liquidity. Again, it's important also to remember the people. We've got a well-motivated team who are here to ensure that we exceed customer expectations. So again, that is who we are today, and that's what we are doing. To, to, uh, that's what we are doing in, the, in this particular market. Now, what's the relevance of this merger? Now, this particular merger basically paves the way for our expansion, for our growth and expansion into this market. What's our ambition? Our ambition is to be a top ten player in this particular market in Uganda. Now. Just a little bit more about NCBA. NCBA is present in five countries in the region, present in Uganda, present in Rwanda, present in Tanzania, present in Kenya, and also in Cote d'Ivoire. So five countries. We've got more than 100 branches and ATMs out there as uh, service points to serve our customers. Our agenda is growth. We want to grow in this particular market. Now, um, with this increased lending capacity, cost efficiency, profitability metrics, and a strong, diverse team, this is a good start for us. It's a good start for us in achieving our ambition of being one of the largest banks in Uganda. Our partnership with MTN dates back into, you know, started in 2016 when we launched the product Mocash. Now, Mocash is a very simple solution. Mocash is a product that allows us as NCBA to lend money, unsecured loans, and also for customers to save on their phone. Very simple solution. And who is eligible? All the MTN money, uh, uh, the MTN subscribers are actually uh, eligible to, you know, sub to subscribe. How do you subscribe? Very simple. You just take your phone, your MTN line, you dial star 165 star 5 hash. Put in your pin, voila, you are, you've already subscribed into, into Mokash. So you can see it's a, it's a very simple solution. It's targeted 
to the MTN subscribers, all right? And it is positioned to a, 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 allow customers to do two things. One, to save, to save money. And secondly, to borrow on their phones. Now, these monies that come, or these loans that are given, these are actually booked in the books of NCBA. So really, at the, behind this arrangement is a bank. So when those subscribers are saving, they are actually saving in a bank, all right? And when they borrow, we are booking these loans in a bank. Now, what, why is the relevance of a bank? Because the bank, NCBA, is regulated by the Bank of Uganda. So we are a regulated entity, all right? The deposits are also protected by the Deposit, pro 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 uh, Devo deposit Protection Fund. So that's, that's important. It's very important to know that it's not just money in a phone, no. It's actually a relationship that allows customers to be able to save, open an account in a bank, and also to save money in that particular bank, and also to borrow. So I would say that this is a game-changing solution. Why? Because today we've got 9.7 million customers on this particular platform. 9.7 million customers. Again, big game-changer, all right? Um, now, through this arrangement, the objective, as I said, is to provide low-cost, unsecured loans to MTN money uh, customers, mobile money customers, and also to allow them a formal bank account to save. So for us, that is significant. And the significance is that it's even regulated by the Bank of Uganda, and the deposits are also protected. So again, significant and also a significant game changer. NCBA has a partnership with MTN to provide more cash. This solution has 9.7 million customers, Ugandan customers, 9.7 million customers in Uganda. This automatically makes us the largest bank in Uganda in terms of customer numbers. Now, what does that mean for us? It simply means that we are walking the journey of financial inclusion. And that's our big agenda. This solution is simple. It's available to all the subscribers of MTN. And you know that beyond the 9.7, there are still other clients who we have not tapped. And the journey continues that we are going to tap. So essentially, I'm saying that, yes, we are the largest bank in Uganda in terms of the number of customers in our books. Because all these, all these loans, all these accounts that we open on savings are actually booked in our books in NCBA. We are currently working with MTN to deliver world-class financial services through the existing partnership. Big agenda, financial inclusion. That means take the banking to the unbanked population. And that's the focus. We want to bring in a lot more Ugandan customers on, you know, within the banking platform to be able to access banking services on their phone. So, Additional to this, uh, the additional to the more cash service, now we are currently, we currently recently opened a, a, an MTN escrow account. It's a trust account. Now, the, the, the beauty about this trust account, it allows us to be able to provide float management services to MTN agents and MTN customers. All right? Now, this solution is very, very easy. Um, you can actually access the services through agents, all right? All the agents. And these are connected to us remotely. So there's an online connection. So let's assume you are in Jinja, you are in Kabale, you want to buy float. Go on to your the agent, goes into their phone, and punches out a request. And this can actually be delivered to them immediately, seamlessly. So again, we're providing online solutions which are seamless. And what is this about? It's because of the lessons learned in the pandemic. We want to ensure that our customers can be able to reach the banking services wherever they are in Uganda. We continue to, and again, I'm, I'll, I'll also confirm that we are going to continue to innovate in this particular space to ensure that we positively impact the lives of Ugandans. The pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, has indeed created new challenges and opportunities for economies and businesses across, across the world. Now, and that, that includes Uganda. Now, our Mokash service has definitely experienced sim similar trends. We've actually seen the, I would say, the, the negative impact on the economy. And that has had a, a direct impact also on the more cash, the more cash service. 
Now, as part of our financial management process, we, in partnership with MTN, increased our engagement with customers. Now, why are we increasing our engagement with customers? So it's, re it's, really, you know, it's really to be able to improve our customers' appreciation of changes that are happening within the environment and how these customers of ours can actually adopt to, this, to these changes. Now, the increased focus on our customer engagement has helped us maintain the momentum on customer repayments. We've had a lot of initiatives with our clients. We've got a lot of, in fact, I would say the last engagement was where we were actually rewarding our customers for, pay, for, make, so for, pay, for pay, paying their loans. We actually had a campaign, uh, and this was just one of the many uh, initiatives that we've had, where we were rewarding clients for good behavior. And what's good behavior? Now, the more cash product, remember, this is a product about financial inclusion. And that's the, that's the, that's the, 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 the agenda. It's a financial inclusion agenda. That means we're looking at Ugandans and say, how do we provide banking services to the unbanked? All right. But at the same time, we also need to educate. All right. So what we've been doing through this increased focus uh, on the customer engagement, we want our customers to know that when you pay, when you, when you get your limit, you get a loan limit, you borrow money. When you pay your loan, your limit is available. So in other words, let's assume you want to borrow 50,000 shillings. You need 50,000 shillings, you borrow on the phone, because that's how it works. But you need to pay on the due date. Immediately upon payment, your loan limit is reinstated, and you can borrow again. So really, what you can do, you can actually be borrowing every 30 days, because our loans, it's a 30-day loan, all right? It's a 30-day loan. So every 30 days, you can repay your loan and borrow back again, and you'll always have your limit growing over time. And that's the beauty of this particular product. And that's the education that we're actually, uh, you, you know, we're actually doing this. We're actually doing with MTN. So again, so I say focused, focused on our clients. Why are we focusing? Just to help them appreciate, to, 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 to also uh, teach our customers about good uh, behavior around loan repayment, but at the same time, ensuring that the momentum of repayment continues. Now, additionally to this, we have also provided some relief to customers um, you know, during this particular period as supported by the Bank of Uganda. So Bank of Uganda rolled out a COVID relief program to support borrowers, and we've actually been able to pass these benefits on to our customers, just to allow our customers deal with the new realities that have come with this particular pandemic. There has been significant strides in um, Uganda's fintech industry over the last few years. In fact, if you look at the last two to three years, I think you've seen a lot of players coming in, a lot of interest coming in from the region. Uh, we've seen new players coming in of to offer different types of services across the value chain. Now, as with the rest of the world, the disruption has brought, uh, you know, the disruption brought by the, uh, the, by, the, by the digital technologies has introduced new opportunities, a lot more in, in, uh, opportunities, to, uh, you know, to innovators to quickly take advantage of. Now, with the introduction of the new re re regulation in Uganda, this is the National Payments Systems Act 2019, this is an enabler, strong enabler, to support innovation in the fintech space in Uganda. Um, and, 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 and as a bank, and as a fintech, as a, you know, you're telling us you're a bank and a fintech, we are definitely looking at um, how to support this particular sector by working with companies like, like, um, like, like MTN to continuously innovate in this particular space. 40 days, 40 fintechs is a great initiative because it shines a light on the achievements happening in the fintech space, not just in Uganda, but in Africa. And that's significant. Now, there's a lot of positive, a lot of positives we've seen in the fintech space in Uganda. But the challenge is that these initiatives do not get a platform to showcase themselves. These fintechs or these initiatives don't get an opportunity to thrive in some extent. A lot of good ideas um, we've seen. We've seen a lot of good ideas, but they simply don't, I would say, grow to a point of, I would say, a business idea because of lack of a, of a platform. So for us, we see the 40 days 40 fintechs as a significant um, enabler for the innovators 
in Uganda to use as a platform to shed light on big transformations that are happening within a digital financial space in this particular country, Uganda. Now, I would say if I take a, it's a step back, the resultant effect of, you know, of these initiatives, 40 days, 40 fintechs, is an overall improvement in the quantity and the quality of innovations, of fintech ideas that we expect to generate in the fintech space in Uganda. Of course, which is a positive ingredient to the overall development of our continent and our country, Uganda. We're definitely looking forward to serving you. Feel free to reach us at any of our branches. You can reach us in any of our branches. Uh, you can go to Abu Golobi, the village mall. We have a branch at the village mall. You can also reach us at Twid Towers. We have a branch downstairs. Uh, Ruven Zori Towers, we also have a branch there. And Market Street, we also have a branch there. So feel free. You can also reach us on our website, ug.ncbagroup.com. We are the bank that says, go for it. 40 Days 40 Fintechs is presented in prior partnership with Crosslake Technologies, Modus Box, Modular Foundation, and Level One Projects.